Alright guys, so today I'll be doing my review on the 2011 iPod Nano, so let's get started. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you guys subscribe, comment, and like this video, and also check out some of my other stuff. Also follow me on Twitter at Gonzo3303. Now let's get on with the review. This iPod comes in two versions, 8GB for $129 and 16GB for $149, and they all come in a variety of colors, including a product red. This version of the iPod Nano has completely gotten rid of the click wheel and gone to a completely touchscreen interface that is up to par with anything you would expect from Apple. At the top you have three buttons, up, down, volume, and power, and on the bottom you have the 30-pin connector as well as your headphone jack. On the back you have one of the biggest features of the iPod Nano, and that is a clip that you are able to clip onto clothing, a backpack, or anything of the sort. This device is very small and compact and allows you the ability to wear it anywhere without even noticing it's there. The iPod Nano may look like it's running a version of iOS, but this is just a skin laid over the iPod firmware. This is executed very well and coming from a daily iPhone 4 and iPad user, I was able to pick this up and know instantly how to navigate through the menus and through the icons. You have the ability to have four apps per page or a single app icon depending on what you think is better for navigation. Navigating through your music is extremely easy and when you find the song you want, you're presented with beautiful album art that fits the screen perfectly and is beautiful to look at. Tapping on the album artwork presents you with your basic music controls. There is an accelerometer in the iPod Nano, but it works a little bit differently than on the iPhone or iPad. If the device turns, it does not flip the screen for you, so you have to manually do that with two fingers and you just turn the screen. Since there is no home button, Apple has given you two options of getting back to your home screen. The first is you hold down for a few seconds and it will take you to the home screen. The second is you can swipe until you get back to the home screen. Like on iOS, you have the ability to change the order of your icons simply by holding down and moving them around. One of my favorite options is the ability to change your clock face. There's a lot more options now and there's definitely one that suits your style. There are also 12 wallpapers that you can choose from so you can find one that suits you perfectly. A cool hidden feature is that when you plug in headphones with a microphone, an additional app pops up called Voice Memos and you can record audio to your device. Overall, the software is extremely well executed and if you're coming from an iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPad, you will feel right at home and have no problems adjusting. Overall, I have come to love the iPod Nano. I must say I was not too thrilled about going to a 2-inch touchscreen coming from my 10-inch iPad, but I was pleasantly surprised how easy it was to navigate and how amazing this touchscreen is. My favorite feature of the iPod Nano is the clock faces. That is the main reason I bought this Nano. The ability to change them really allows for a customized look for whatever I have going on that day. Music navigation is extremely easy and simple, and when you have this clipped onto your pocket, you hardly notice it's there and it is extremely comfortable. The only gripes I have is that it is pretty small and it has slipped out of my hands a few times, and I would like to be able to watch a video on here even though it is an extremely small screen. I think that is something that would be cool on here. All in all, I am loving this device and would recommend it to anyone who is thinking about buying this product. It is extremely fun to have, and I am definitely glad I made this purchase. Please remember to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And this was my review of the 2011 iPod Nano.